Let's not lose all my Pokemon this time, because that would suck, as I don't have many left. Now, now, uh, I'm not faster, so I can't use, like, emergency exit or whatever. Like, oh, is it a speed? Oh, no, he used first impression, so can I please? Yes! Oh, that's good. Emergency exit, fucking awful ability. Because, like, he didn't even get to use his move that turn. Can the chat make a vote to revive or to go to a route that you caught a Pokemon already and catch a Pokemon? I mean, okay, one, even if I were to catch a Pokemon in a route I've already caught one, it's not going to be nearly as high of a level as, like, the ones I have on my team. So it's going to be kind of like Mike and Sarah right now, just sitting there, getting experience, but overall pretty much useless, right? Um, and reviving a Pokemon, it's like, nah, I, I, I still I still lost the Pokemon, so it's like, ooh, still lost it, though. But, like, yeah, I, think I do want it back, but, like, I still lost it, though. Cool. And by the way, that was just me demonstrating that at this point, I need to switch out because if it fucking sneezes on me, I'm dead. Alright, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal, let's heal. I'm gonna take this time, because I know I'm probably gonna need to Dynamax the Dustnor. I'm gonna heal Dustnor while I'm at it. And then I'm gonna get one more heal on him. And play the lamest fucking game I possibly can. But they started it by having me press A for a few hours, okay? That was lame as hell. So I think I'm a little justified in pressing A three times to use potions. Beat him up. Oh, Moxie, let's go! Yes! Okay, that's good. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep Scrafty out as long as possible on this then. Just because of Moxie. I want to see how much damage it does. Because I, I have an idea for a big brain play here. Like I'm, 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 like, I'm at that point now where it's like, okay, now I can't lose any more Pokemon. I need to think. Use Aqua Ring. I'm gonna Dynamax right now. Because, even though it's on the Sea King, which I think Sherry can take it out as it is, right? And they have three Pokemon left, so it probably wouldn't be good to Dynamax now, because when they have their Dynamax Pokemon, I probably won't have Dynamax on anymore. I want to be able to, like, Moxie got me thinking about setting up, right? And I already killed the Pelipper, and I don't think they had another water flying type thing or anything that can beat uh, up my fighting type right here. So, basically, I'm going to use, I'm just spamming Max Knuckle, raising my attack as high as possible, and then having Moxie kick in afterward, after I kill these Pokemon, so that I can just start one-shotting. Like, hopefully I can just do an insane amount of damage and one-shot. Uh, okay, yep, one more. And then after I attack him with this, it'll raise my attack more, and then I'll get the Moxie boost. And then we should just start doing insane amount of damage. Fuck, I forgot about Glyph Spot, but that's actually perfectly fine because it's at half health. Uh, I had Scrafty Undynamax at the very beginning with no attack boost, doing a fourth of his health. Uh, with all of the attack boosts from Moxie uh, and, you know, the attack raises from Max Knuckle and all that, plus, you know, just Dynamax, Max Knuckle and all that, this should kill it. And then I'll get the boosted attack from this, plus the boosted attack from Moxie. Fuck. Almost, almost, almost. That's perfectly fine, though. It's probably gonna use first impression or some shit, right? So, I don't like that, but I'm faster. So, it, it's perfectly fine. It works out in the end. It would have been great if it didn't use 
that, and it would have used something that didn't do much damage because then I would have been able to heal before the final one. But that's also perfectly fine considering, um, well, I need to kill it now because of Sword Stance. I don't like it. And it's perfectly fine considering I still have a good amount of health. Dreadnought's rocked up. Oh, it uses fucking Dreadnought? Oh, this is free. I'm gonna one-shot it. I'm pretty sure my attack stat is maxed. Like, even without Dynamaxing right now, I'm faster than a fucking turtle, okay? It's a turtle. So I'm gonna brick break it. Alright, so now, even though it's about to Dynamax, I, like, it's Dreadnought. Dreadnought's slow. I'm assuming it's slow just because it's a fucking turtle. Uh, and that's actually pretty lucky for me that it's rock type and a slow Pokemon that's the Dynamax. The max Pokemon. Uh, so, please one shot. Like, max attack set, super effective. One shot. It's faster. Lift. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh my, oh. I thought it was all over. <laughs> I thought it was all over when I get, oh my. I was so nervous there. Like, when, when it was faster than me and used this G-Max move thing, I'm like, oh, fuck, it's all over. There's no way I'm living this. I'm at like half health, oh god. And then, by the power of fucking ball guy over here... <laughs> somehow, I barely lived it, and then, of course, what shot? Yeah. Uh, will you complete the game or stop the stream at the very end? Very end meaning by the Battle of Leon. I mean, after the Battle of Leon? Isn't it, like, over after the Battle of Leon? Because, like, I have no interest in doing, like, the side quest thing for, like, getting the legendary Pokemon, because that's just, you know... Go talk to this person. Go talk to this person. Now go across the region and talk to this person. Okay, now fight dog. Right? So I have no interest in doing that, if that's what I mean. And then I also have no interest in doing Fetch Quest, the DLC. And then uh, Battle Tower, but with big Pokemon, the DLC. I have an animal. Therefore, you're more likely to subscribe. Is this the champion fight? It's not! Fuck! Scrafty's useless! Oh fuck! Oh fuck, my ice thing's useless! Oh, oh fuck, Sarah's useless! Oh fuck! The duck's useless! Oh fuck! I'm about to lose! I didn't know! Oh, I'm about to lose! Oh, everyone's screaming at me! Who's screaming at me in the stream chat saying, Fighting next! Fighting next! Next one's fighting! Fighting! And I'm like, fuck! I'm not gonna pay attention! Fuck! Watch your profanity! Shit, I'm gonna lose. The fuck, we tried to warn you. I know. The fuck, it's gonna use flying type move. I already know. <laughs> you gotta take one for the team. Yo, fucking duck, you take it one. It's flying. I can't use quit neither. Literally, I have Ben and Ben alone. Ben needs to somehow fucking solo run this. Yo, you take one for the team. Mike's about to die. He's taking one for the team. Flying part. Yeah, he's dead. I just need to safe switch in. Wait, that's a fighting type? Why would he? Oh, wait, no. Of course he would use the fighting type. Oh, never mind. You alive? How? Well, no matter what I'm doing, I'm pretty much dead here. So I'm gonna dive. That's actually good for me. That's good for me. He's faster, so he's going to hit first with bounce and miss, and then I'm going to hit him after with dive, and I'm going to have my thing in my mouth, and then I'll be able to heal my... Yo, I got so lucky. I'll be able to heal myself, right? So I'm going to do the damage from dive right here. That actually did a fair amount. Damn. I got the Pikachu. I don't know if that changes it to an Electro-type move when he hits me, but he's going to hit me for damage, right? Um, but it'll usually kill me unless if I use a potion and heal. I only really need a super potion here. I'm going to heal him with potion. I just read what the ability does, and it, he'll basically spit Pikachu at him if he hits me. Shit, he didn't do the thing. Oh, well. Well, I'm pretty sure I can live his... I can live a bounce. So I'll be able to... 
I'm slower, so I'll drill peck him. He's gonna hit me for the bounce, I'll hit him with Pikachu, and then I'll drill peck him, he should be dead if I live. Okay, fuck, I live, I- Wow. Barely. <laughs> the sound of- The sound effect they make when Pikachu hits him is just- Like, Pikachu just splatted on him. Oh. Yo. I- Literally, I've been just- Fucking around the entire series, by the way. The entire game. But now I'm at the point where I was like, shit, I need to actually, like, think. And it sucks. Okay, so on this, he's probably gonna set up, probably. I don't like that. But I... <sighs> right now, I have the flying-type advantage here. So I want to keep using it. Right? Like, if, if he dies, it's not the worst thing. Yeah, and, like, I'm not, I'm not fine with... I don't really have a safe switch in. That's actually good for me. Uh, because of the fact that he's lowering his special uh, defense and defense, that's really good. So I, I, I'll, I'll just potion spam him a bit. And then it gets to the point where it's like, you know, he's using... Well, either I could start all of his close combats, right? Or if he uses it maybe like once or twice more, I can switch to Ben, who is Ghost-type. So it won't affect... Okay, but he does that, so that means I can feel confident about using a Drill Pack. He's got Rock Gym. I'm surprised he didn't use it the first turn. Shit, I'm dead. Wow. Damn. Okay, so he's got Rock Tomb, Bulk Up, Close Combat. Okay, so can't use you, can't use you, can't use you. Can't use you. Literally, I just have to hope and pray with Dusknor. Because if Dusknor dies, then I think that's it. No retreat. I don't know what that does, but that sounds bad. His attack rose a lot and is... Oh, fuck. Found to lo longer escape. Great. I don't think it really wants to. It just took all the steroids. main thing I have to worry about is the rest of the po his Pokemon's moves. Mostly worried about the Machamp's moves. So I need to switch in. Okay, and after that it has Leaf Blade Slam. Okay, so Quinton would be the best for this then. Oh god, I... <laughs> resorting to looking up their team to win. Oh god. I don't want to lose. I've, I've, I've played... I've matched A so much. I can't lose now. Okay, please. So 
literally, um, yeah, I, I need to save Dusknor for Grapplock and for... So, literally after this, I just switch to Dusknor and have Dusknor do the things. It lowered his defense, so will this just kill it now? Straight up? Okay, nice, 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 nice. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I was going to mention how uh, Fire Lash, I could um, have Quentin use Fire Lash and uh, lower its defense, but worst case scenario, hear me out everyone, <laughs> as much as it would pain me to let this man go, because he's being the MVP of the team. I gotta think about winning. <laughs> I think somehow I'll be able to win this. Some way, somehow. I don't know how exactly, but like some way I might be able to. Worst case scenario, I... Actually, no, I think I will be able to beat this no matter what, I think. Because worst case scenario, we can always sacrifice Ben for the greater good. Literally, Scrafty and Vanillux can't do anything against this. Quentin might be able to. Quentin might be able to. Quentin would, yeah. Because it's got two fighting type moves, a normal type move, and then fire. Quentin could probably help take this thing on. Like, ever since dealing with a max attack phalanx, I've been super cautious and everything like that. Okay, so this hail, electric terrain, sun. First thing I'm gonna do is stall it. Okay, I'm gonna stall this thing with protect. Then I'm gonna use the fire punch, sunny move, right, to put up the sunny day, and then protect again. And then while sun is still activated, I can keep using fire punch. And the reason I'm also using the Sun is because, you know, if I need to, I can switch to Quinton and use Fire-type moves with him, which will be boosted. I can win this. Ho all hope was not lost. It, it was looking lost for a while on that Phalanx, but it's not. He has Fire Punch? I know. I know he has Fire Punch. He's going to be able to use Max Flare on me, and that's fine because I'm pretty sure I can take a hit from him. Like, obviously he's going to use it because literally none of his other moves can affect me. But I can take a hit from that. Nice. Okay. Alright. Oh, wait. He was gonna use the something. Actually, that's good for me! That's even better, because now my max flare will do more damage. Right? I mean, I know his fire punch will do more damage, and his max flare will be pretty scary now, right? But I'm stalling it out. There. Okay. So now none of us are Dynamaxed anymore. This, this is the most I've, like, it, it's too late at night to be thinking this much. But, like, now I'm gonna fire punch... He, he can also fire punch, yeah, I guess. Jeez, because of the sun, that did more than when he was Dynamax. Shit. Oh, wait. Oh, does Max Flare not even take into effect the sun? Okay. Now, because of this, I can... Oh, okay. Never mind. Quinton's not... He doesn't even have, you know, full health. That's kind of bad. But anyways. So, if I heal here, I'll be able to live at least one hit. Worst case scenario, by the way. So I don't really trust it. I don't really trust him. If he gets a critical hit, I'm dead, right? So I should be cautious. I don't wanna I, I don't have the patience for that though, but I need to be cautious, because worst case scenario I can PP stall him, right? But I should be able to kill him. Oh that was oh, my heart. Jesus Christ. Yeah, if he would have gotten that, I would have been dead. If he would have gotten a crit, it would have been over. So the next is Dragon Guy. Oh god, and then I can fight. I'm, I'm looking up his team straight up. I'm looking up his team. I'm strategizing. I literally don't have the Pokemon for this right now.